Did you used to love playing Flash games in your browser as a kid, only to have your childhood finally die on the day that Flash itself died? Maybe you want to rekindle that nostalgia by playing some modern games in your browser written in a more modern language like JavaScript, but this is probably going to require you to run some non-free software, since most of the JavaScript out there on the internet is non-free, especially the JavaScript used to make games. Now, you could run this non-free JavaScript if you choose to, but it may jeopardize your chances of entering GNU slash Jana on the Day of Judgment. Well, what if I told you that it is possible to play these games in your browser without casting your soul into eternal DRM hell? That is exactly what this man has made possible with this collection of games. Uh, all written by Alvaro Montoro, or Montoro, I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Uh, one of my viewers, Benjamin Astor, recommended that I check out some of his stuff. Uh, so this guy is basically the CSS goat. This man does things with CSS that some people probably couldn't even imagine, like create a whole bunch of games for you to play in your browser with no JavaScript. Uh, and of course, I'll leave a link to this in the description. Let's start checking them out. So we got this CSS car racing game. Um, it doesn't really so much look like a racing game. I guess I'm supposed to just avoid like this tar or whatever on the road. Yeah, so I die if I go over it. Um, <laughs> well, I guess I could just do this, right? I mean, if I just go over into the ditch, then none of it's ever going to touch me because none of it ever goes over there, right? Doesn't look like it. All right, well, we already figured out the meta. Um, I can probably go up here too, right? <laughs> there we go. So, uh, you know, I, I guess maybe it's a little bit of a bug in the game, but hey, AAA titles ship with bugs these days, right? Like it's, you know, bugs are almost required for your game to, I guess, be good. I don't know. And, and some bugs I don't consider to be good like that. Um, what's, what's that game that was super popular that everyone's complaining about? Uh, like Cyberpunk 2070, something like that. Like that game didn't even really work. You had to, uh, I don't know, you had to play it on like a dual 3090, which is going to be impossible to get these days, right? Because the only way to even get a graphics card is, I guess, you got to blow a bunch of crypto miners. Um, all right, so let's see. What can we do with this game? I think that this is the speed of the animation, right? Set the... The lower the number, the faster the game will go. Okay, so let's let's set this to crazy mode. <laughs> it's like almost impossible to play. <laughs> you can't play it the way it's intended, but uh, you know you can just fly. Let's see what's the lowest I can make this. Yeah. <laughs> How much more insane can it get? So this is like impossible mode, right? If I just touch the road, I'll die, pretty much. All right, well, that's that game. It's not like we don't have two dozen other ones to check out. Let's try the CSS Dino. So this is like that game that you play in, um... Okay, so Spacebar just restarts it. Wazda doesn't do anything, arrow keys don't do anything. I was going to say, this is like that game that you play in, um, what, what is it, Chrome, whenever it doesn't work. Like whenever the internet is down and it just gives you this little thing. I don't think I've actually played this since maybe high school, but I don't. I'm pretty sure it's either WASD or arrow keys to move, but this guy doesn't move. Clicking doesn't do anything. This doesn't even really seem like a game. Nothing interesting is going on in the background. Okay, so it's just an animation. I don't really count that as a game, man. I hope I hope that this is not like a bunch of animations and, and not real games. Let's try this CSS driving game. And I just died? I, I don't... <laughs> Why do I automatically die when I, when I mouse over? Okay, this, this is getting a little stupid. <laughs> I was hoping these games would be good, but, but, mm, th this is, this is, why do I keep dying just like immediately? Is this game not possible to play? Oh, okay. I think, okay, I see what's going on. So 
The green is death, and I imagine that the other cars on the road are also death. So he, he figured out how to code in ditches in this game. All right, so I guess that means I have to enter from like the bottom. Okay. And it doesn't move freely. There's like, okay, so there's basically three lanes on the road. And there's, I don't know, a bunch of like up and down. Okay. I just gotta remember not to go into the green. Don't mouse over the green. On either side, the green is death. I don't think any cars come from behind me either, so probably staying back here is the best thing to do. Okay, let's go here. And then let's go here. Maybe I should go up a little bit just in case I need to like move up. It's like, okay, here. Ah, oh, I went over too fast. All right, let's not mouse over yet because I'm gonna just insta die. All right. Man, I need to like. I don't know, I think I need to lower the DPI on my mouse for this game. Oh, I'm gonna die. Ah! Okay, I got, I got in a trap there. Let's try one more time. Why is there a Malwarebytes ad down here? Get out of here. <laughs> Malwarebytes did not pay to be in this video. All right, we're just gonna, we're just gonna chill here in the middle. I'm ready to go anywhere I need to go. I'm atomically centered. It's like I'm Joe Rogan. Bam. Oh, no, 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 that's death. Bam. Oh, no. Okay, I halfway clipped in the... Oh, shit. Well, there wasn't anything I could do there. But, all right, this, this is actually... That, that's actually a kind of good game. <laughs> I mean, for, considering that it's only CSS, let's, let's see how much code it takes to do this. A lot. Well, 220. I mean, 220 lines of CSS and what, 35 lines of HTML? That's, that's not too bad. I mean, it would probably take maybe half to do it in a, with JavaScript. That's pretty impressive. It's not like, you know, some people are like, oh, it's stupid to do this in 2,000 lines of CSS. That's only, only about 100. All right, let's play CSS Whack-A-Mole. This is going to be just like a spam click thing, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> how fast can you auto click without uh well not auto click but how fast can you click without accidentally selecting sh some crap fourteen I mean I don't think that's too bad. Let's see maybe I can get like fifteen See, because you have to wait until that hand appears and it doesn't come up right away. So like some of them, they go too fast. I missed one. You know what though? That's pretty good. That's, that's pretty good. All right. Um, wait, are there two? There are two. Okay, so which one is... This one's got more views and more hearts and whatnot, so... Oh, this, this does seem like a better one. Yeah, it seems like the hand comes up, like, immediately on this one. Oh, I spoke too soon. But I was selecting text. I think text, like, selection kind of screws it up. All right, I'm going to try one more time on this one, see if I can get that perfect 20. Just because I want to see if there's something like different at the end, if it's like congratulations or whatever. And whatever, I got 19. It's the best I can do, man. All right, rock, paper, scissors. This is gonna be Interesting. I mean, what? I wonder what logic is built into this, like, selecting it. I don't know. I, I, I'm, I'm not going to be able to just decipher it that quickly. <laughs> Let's try it out. Um, what did it say? Did I lose? Did I win? Rock. I win. Rock. I win. <laughs> Rock. 
I win! Hey, I can get used to this. You tied. Oh, okay, paper. Hmm. I win! Okay, so I, I, I don't know. Maybe it's just random or whatever. Did I? Why does my dude look like he's flipping him off? What? <laughs> why are my. <laughs> <laughs> My dude doesn't do scissors. He just he just flips you off. <laughs> okay, my paper is normal. My rock is normal. <laughs> but my scissors is literally a middle finger. It's a crooked middle finger too. He's he's tried this before and it didn't go so well. That's okay. That's interesting. <laughs> uh I'm having too much fun without any JavaScript. Um, hmm, oh, oh. Well, okay, we got tic-tac-toe and then connect four. Let's do tic-tac-toe. That one's got a lot more views. Oh, okay, so there's like a difficulty set. Okay, yeah, this has like an AI. Let's see how much, <sighs> good God, that's a lot of code. <laughs> That's a lot of code just for uh, tic-tac-toe, but then again, it's, it's all without JavaScript, so. All right, let's start. All right, so computer move, just click there and it goes wherever. Um, okay, let's see, so I have to then block him here, right? I think I did this wrong. Yeah, I did this wrong. I made it so that he's gonna win either way. Or we'll tie. All right, let's see. I, for I forgot how you're supposed to do the, uh, the tic-tac-toe meta. You go in like a corner, right? And then he goes there. And then I think I'm supposed to take another corner. So I have to go there, then he blocks me, and then nobody wins again, right? I think that this, like, advanced AI, because let's see, it's always going to go in the middle, right? Yeah, because that's like the best move you can make. And I think it's just going to do it where... Yeah, it's going to do it where it always has to tie. Because that's the thing, like, if you go first in tic-tac-toe, you can, like, guarantee that you don't lose, but you can't, um, <laughs> let's make it beginner. You can't, uh, make it so that, like, you're, you're always guaranteed to win. Like, they can always sort of just do what you've seen three times now, and then you're, uh, you're not always going to win. Yeah, so, like, this guy here, he's screwing it up. <laughs> okay. So you have the option of either playing an unbeatable AI or just a stupid AI. All right, that's that's a little hilarious. Um, let's let's try connect four. Oh, so this is just like two player connect four. All right, well, nothing you can really do there. But I guess if you want to play with two people, you know, hey, if if two people <laughs> are hanging out in, in the same house and they both have uh, their Libre ThinkPad with no proprietary software on it whatsoever, you guys can fire up GNU Ice Cat and play this together. There you go. You can have fun at home with friends on the computer without running any DRM. Uh, yeah, like I said, link to this will be in the description. Check it out. Let me know in the comments which games you guys like the most.